All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to this Athenian Stranger tutorial video where today we are going to learn how to take a square root entirely by hand. Let's take a look at this lost art here by evaluating the square root of 38 out to uh, two decimal places. Okay, the problem we're presented with is that 38 is not a perfect square. So it's not 2 times 2 is 4, 3, uh, 3 times 3 is 9, 4 times 4 is 16, 5 times 5 is 25, 6 times 6 is 36, 7 times 7 is 49. It's not a perfect square of any whole number. So we have to approximate it, and here's how we're going to do that. Instead of writing the square root below it, we'll write 38, and then we'll put the division symbol. What we're looking for here is a perfect root of some number that is less than or equal to 38. So I'll give you what, what it is. It's going to be 6 times 6 equals 36. Okay, It can't be 7 because 7 times 7 is 49. Too big, right? So it's got to be 6 times 6. We want a number that is smaller. The product of these two numbers is smaller than 38. So we'll put in here a 6. And 38 divided by 6 is 6. 6 times 6 is 36. And we're left with a remainder of 2. And here's the cool part. This is where it differs from division on how you do this. Put a dot... All right, and now we're going to invent and bring down two zeros, All right? Set this template up just like I'm showing you. Next to 200 down here, we will write a less than or equal to symbol. And to the left of that symbol, we'll put a line. To the left of that line, we'll put multiplication symbol. To the left of that symbol, we'll put another line. And then right here in this space, we need to double six. Six times two is 12, so this is one, two. What we're looking for here is now a three digit number whose last digit goes here. It's better to just see it happen, all right? So what we're looking for is a three-digit number whose last digit can be placed here and when you multiply that three-digit number by that last digit you get a number that is less than or equal to 200. Well it's just one right because if you did uh, 122 times 2 you would get a number that was bigger than 200 so it's 121 times 1. Okay, 121 times 1 is 121. Put that here, and now perform the subtraction. 10 minus 1 is 9, 9 minus 2 is 7. So now we're looking at 79, and we will bring down two more zeros. So our next step is to evaluate up to 7900. But we have accomplished something awesome. This number right here, 1, is the tenths place of the approximated square root. So we'll go in here and put 6.1. Here's the trick. You've got 6.1, and I want to remove the decimal place. So we're going to double 61. Okay, what is the double of 61? Well, that would be 61 times 2. All right, so that is 2 and 12. So here's what I'm going to place my less than or equal to symbol right here. And then a little line, multiplication symbol, little line. And then to the left of that, I'll write 122. 
Okay. What is the next step? The next step is to find a whole number that I can tack on to the end, making this a four digit number. And then whatever that whole number is, I'm going to multiply it. This four digit number by that whole number, terminating ones place digit that I've found. And when I multiply it together, it's got to be less than or equal to 79. All right, so in this example, we'll try 6. Before we put it, let's try it. 1, 2, 2, 6 times 6. Let's see what that is. 6 times 6 is 36. Carry the 3. 6 times 2 is 12, plus 3 is 15. Carry the 1. 6 times 2 is 12, plus 1 is 13. Carry the 1. 6 times 1 is 6, plus 1 is 7. All right, so you see here, we couldn't do 1, 2, 2, 7 times 7 because it would be bigger than 7,900. This is as close as we're going to get. So we'll go up here and put a 6 here and a 6 here. And that means that 6 is the next digit in the approximated square root. So we'll go up here and put a 6. Now, if you wanted to continue this process, you would double 6, 1, 6. So we're just, when we double these numbers, we're taking the numbers without the decimal. Um, so we would, the next step in this process would be to take 616 times 2, and that would give me 12 carry the 1, 3, and 12. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 2. And um, we'll need that here in a moment. But we would take this, uh, the next step in the process would be to take 7356 and write it here. 7356. Okay, if you just, if you wanted to continue this out, for our purposes in math, we don't need to usually do that, but you could. Okay, so 10 minus 6 would be 4, 9 minus 5 would be 4. 8 minus 3 would be 5, five <laughs> and that's it. So then we would bring down two more digits. And now we would be looking at 54,400. And we would put less than or equal to symbol, number, multiplication symbol, number, and then we would write 7356 or rather, uh, 1, 2, 3, 2, okay? We would write 1, 2, 3, 2, and we would be looking for that final digit. This is getting big, right? It gets, the problem itself gets big, so we'll just stop at 6.16. And this is the cool thing. If we take our calculator here, and we put in 38, and then we take the square root, we see that we got it right. It's 6.16. So that's how we would take a square root entirely by hand. So we can say the square root of 38 is approximately equal to 6.16. All right. Well, I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please uh, leave it a thumbs up and um, subscribe to the channel. If you have not already, hit that notification bell so you're always alerted when I release new videos. Thanks.